and you can see here where do you think you would measure your H for this weir? Where would you measure H? On the top of the weir? To the top point of the weir. Just go right up there. Yeah. But you see you got a warped surface, so you probably have to take that back. Where would you measure H on that one? There and then projected back into there. Yeah. Okay. And you can see, uh, I don't know if you know what this is, this is called a hydraulic jump. We're going to study those just by themselves in a few weeks. Uh, and on this particular C4 flume, we have the ability to change several variables, but the two main variables are flow rate and slope. It's still big slope. So if you come up here, you'll see that we actually have a slope control. Maybe you can tell me what the current slope is. About 1.5%. Uh, what do you think will happen if we increase the slope? Well, why don't we try it? Why don't you increase the slope slowly? Let it turn it. I don't want to shake it too much. Maybe bring it up to, yeah, you have to figure out which way it goes. Yeah, why don't you make it two, even two and a half. And you, your other print should be watching what's happening. What do you think will happen to H if you increase the slope? Go up, go down, stay the same. Yeah, as long as go down, what do you think? That's to higher velocity. Right, it's, it's increasing velocity, losing pressure. You can see your, your hydraulic jumps are also now the other variable we can control is flow. What do you think will happen if we reduce the flow? Okay, why don't you try it? We just want you to get used to dealing with these variables. And you're measuring the float right there. That's it. So right now you're about 1.2, 1.3, and you bring it down. Okay. What we just want you to do is to sketch this out and to be able to explain the property. like H has definitely gone down. Okay? And why don't you uh, let it rip? Why don't you see how high you can go? Just want to keep an eye here that we don't know what's going on. He's increasing now. So let's watch. You want to, how high can you go though? Can you iron? Watch your float. Your flow rate. Are you increasing H? Yeah, increasing. They're seeing an increase in age. Bring it up more. You can see your jump is moving down. Okay, so we want you just to say hello to the C4 pool, get used to the, to the measurements, the variables, how we can model things. What I'd like you to do now is put it back to the original specification, which was the one and a half here and whatever was there. And then leave it, turn it off and leave it for the next one. That's called a hydraulic jump. Yeah, it's very neat. We're going to create a really roaring hydraulic jump in a few weeks.